We're in a band. Yeah, we play rock and roll. Thomas will tell you. He'll tell you. He'll tell you. I played the guitar when I was five. I picked it up when I was five. There was always a guitar in the house. I started singing when I was two. I, when I was, by the time I was four, I was the opening acts for um, the country music people that would come into Oklahoma City. I started playing the bass about three years ago. My brother played the guitar. I decided to just play the bass. When I first started playing the drums, I was six. All my brothers are drummers. They taught me. When you hear the music, they're not, they don't play like they're young kids. Young doesn't make a difference. I mean, you, you, you can hear the music. It doesn't, we're not a kid band. We're kids. We're not playing kids music. That's for sure. I met Steve when I was eight in Dunton, in England, Monsters of Rock Festival. I was on tour with David Lee Roth Band, and we were playing Castle Donington, which is a huge festival that the Europeans have. It's based in England. Um, there was about 92,000 people at the show. I was like backstage, and um, I was just playing at the back, like at the boot of my car. He just strummed the guitar, and um, then this roadie guy walked along, and um, he just he says, can you really play that thing? And he says, um, yeah. He walks in the bus and he comes out and says, come here, Steve wants to see you. Comes into my caravan, he brings a little amp, didn't talk a word, he was with his dad, and he just started playing. And I, I, I mean, you know, the only thing you can do is laugh because it was so, uh, I mean, it was, it was a virtuoso. This kid was just wailing, he was eight years old. He's going, he's freaking out and stuff. And um, he's saying, should make a, like, an album. Then I got a record deal with um, Interscope, and then Steve produced it. I've always had this vision. What I wanted to do uh, one day is, you know, help make a record or produce a band of young kids. I wanted them all to be like 13, 14, 15. Hey, hey. It took a long time to find them all. Hey, yeah, yeah. I didn't think that it was possible to find kids this young who could play this well. I, w I mean, we totally lucked out, you know. Steve is, is, is great to work with. He's been an idle mind, you know. Now to work with him, it's just, it's just wonderful. I mean, I don't think anybody can do a better job than he's doing. I gotta tell you something, there are no studio musicians on this record. I did not play one note of guitar on this entire record. It's all the kids. Don't touch that, you're gonna ruin your guitar solo. It was great because it wasn't just like, well, this is what you're going to play. Mm. This is what you're going to do. It's not like that, though, because he was totally open-minded. A lot of times people are trying to tell the kids what, what to do or what they think they should do or whatever, but they really know what they want to do. I was looking for a single. I just listened for lots of records and stuff, and I um, put the Lizzie on 90 and we all liked it. I was tried out in the studio. When you it sounded good, so this is this the one. We can do a lot of headbanging in it. Damn, he's great. Man. He's just out there, you know. He gets down with his bad self. Thomas, when, when you first get to know him, he's a shy guy, and then when you get to know him, he's a wild man. You may get me nervous! He's a 12-year-old guitar player, but look at him play. Zach's a cool guy. <laughs> He's a great bass player. Yeah. I dig his bass playing. Brooke says like weird stuff and does weird stuff. There's a certain reckless abandon that I think mature musicians lose, but these kids have an abundance right now. And you can see it. Get down, get down, get down. I'm trying to capture that in their playing and in their music, and it's, it's, it's coming out. We're a dynamite. Hey, I'm big. 
we're going to rehearse for a couple of weeks and we're going to go on tour. We're going to go, we're going to go, we're going to go on tour. And I want a tour bus with with a goat on the side of it painted with Steve's left ear. I think we get to have like a garage party everywhere we go. I'm looking forward to going on tour because I like rocking the stage. You know what I mean? You really haven't seen like a young heavy metal band or hard rock band out there. Um, not really musicians, you know, for people. That, I mean, that was cool about the album. It's just four people playing. The real magic is the, uh, the stuff that comes out your fingers. The energy that comes out your fingers. Do you feel that, Mr. Camera? Kick it, kick it. 